Hey everybody and welcome to Trappist, a comedy sim that's on Steam right now from Indie Dev Sira, Syra. I don't know how to say their name. Apologies if I butchered your name. But yeah, it's like a little nice colony sim from uh, a small indie dev. $14.99 on Steam. And they were nice enough to send over a copy for me to check out. So thanks to them for that. I like what I'm seeing here and we're going to kind of dive right in. We're going to just start with normal difficulty and go from there. Welcome to Trappist 1, our new home. The Ark is arriving in orbit around the desert planet. I'll take a look at it, closer look at the Ark to see how it was set the journey. You can review the controls in the attached file. Oh, it's a readme file, okay. Okay. We're going to kind of wing it, you know? This file can be... And any messages you've received can be reread at any time. Read messages by clicking the bottom of the top right corner of the screen or by using the M key. Good to know. What are the basics? Move the camera by holding any mouse button while dragging the mouse or press the arrow or WAD key to move the camera. Anything else? Rotate the camera with Q and E. Scroll the mouse wheel or press the page down, page up to zoom in or out. Press the home key to focus on the arc. Alright, are we good to go? The living spaces for the colonists were destroyed during our journey. Let's clear the arcology ruins from the Ark. Use the left mouse button to select shift, buildings, planets, or anything else on screen. When we recycle buildings, we recover the resources used in their construction. Select the arcology ruins and click recycle. That should do it. Let's build some new habitats. Two habitats provide room for enough colonists to operate the yard and to prepare for new colonies. Open the construction menu by clicking this button. From this menu, select the habitat and building it on a free spot on the ark. While placing buildings, hold shift to place multiple buildings of the same type. Use the R key to rotate building. We need to build another habitat, so we'll build that right there. Thaw at least four colonists from the cryopods. We've done four. We'll stop that for now. All right, with enough colonists on the Ark, we can operate all facilities. Our existing supplies will let us run the Ark for a while. The desert planet below looks like a safe bet to start our first colony. Any orbiting ship will survey the planet to find any potential colony site. Survey the desert planet by moving a ship into orbit. Ships in orbit around the planet will automatically start surveying. Surveying reveals locations for colonies and other interesting sites. Select one of the two cargo ships and right-click on the planet to move the ship into orbit. See, music fine, we're going to turn that down just a hair. And by a hair, I mean a whole lot because it was loud in my ears. Um, so we have 240 energy, 64 concrete, 64 steel beans, uh, 5 computer chips, 94 oxygen, and 74 health drain. It's very cozy so far. I'm really liking this. Like I said, it's 15 bucks on Steam. It's a pretty nice entry price for you to get into the game if you want to check it out. The average playtime I've seen from others is 6 to 10 hours, so a good start to the uh, game for this, I'd say. And I think it, I think if I remember correctly, it was on itch.io for a while. Um, seems like I remember seeing it on there. Could be thinking of something else, though. Can't check now that I'm into the game, and I don't really want to tab out.
92% surveyed. Go ahead and speed down things. The desert planet has a breathable atmosphere for most of the surfaces to dry. Earth similarity point to 087. Temperature 2.46 Kelvin. Radius 0.910 Earth radii. Mass 0 .70, or 772 Earth masses. Density 5.65 grams per centimeter cubed. And surface gravity 90.93 gram. Orbital period 6 days. We located a promising spot with underground rotor reserves. Let's take a cargo ship for a closer look. We need to take a ship for a better view. Ah, uh, let's get back out. It's called Haven. There we go. We can build a colony hub and a landing pad from the cargo ship. Let's build the colony hub right there. Put a landing pad right next to it. First extra solar colony is officially open for business. We can move a cargo ship to the landing pad to transfer goods. One's dot, click or drag on the concrete, and steel beams to transfer building materials. Use the right mouse button to transfer more goods at once. Is that, did I get the wrong ships? Build a... We need concrete and steel beam. Hold on, let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and get you both out of the atmosphere. Because now I'm curious. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm going to get about half on each of them. I just missed this. I missed this. Um, so they need steel beams. And concrete. Let's go ahead and get 40 concrete. And 40 steel beams. Not 41. 40. And now you can get a haven. I get it. I, I, I got it. I just missed that step. Okay, so now we can start constructing. We need a pioneer camp. With enough habitat set up, we'll be able to live and work on this planet. We should continue to thaw colonists and bring to the colonies as long as we have enough potatoes and water. So we have the pioneer camp. We need... A potato uh, water pump now. It's 
The burning lacks energy population or other resources. It won't work. Building generally requires energy and population to operate. Some buildings require more resources. For example, the concrete factory requires SAMs a sand pit. Those buildings need to be within range of a colony hover and automated depot. Drones will then transfer the goods between these buildings and the colony storage. With these pumps, we're guaranteed to stay sufficiently hydrated despite the desert heat. So we need energy. Let's go ahead and build a couple of windmills. Need two colonists. Let's go ahead and get our potatoes. I keep going to that instead of that. Let's go ahead and get our potatoes. Like the first Martians, we can survive on potatoes alone if we need if need be. We'll have to unless we continue to learn more about our new home. We'll boil, mash them, stick them in a stew. We can continue to grow the colony by moving colonists from the yard. Larger colonies can support more advanced buildings. We can build a concrete factory to use for building material. In, mean, in time, we might find another suitable location for a second colony on this planet. We can survey the other planets from the solar system as well. So we need to grow Haven to 60 pops. Let's go ahead and get you out of here. We're going to get some colonies, our colonists onto here. We're going to get, I think, 16 colonists, one full cryopod down to the surface. Then we'll go from there. Alright, 16. There's not a full cryopod. I thought it was 16. It's 24. Right, let's get to 16 down there. Down to Haven. All right, so everything is full up. We have two colonists. Two colonists, okay. Utilities, can I build a... Yeah, I can build a pioneer camp. Need food. Computer chips for that, really? In the entire Haven colony, we have six colonists required, six colonists available. They're dying from starvation. I don't know why we're getting food. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have computer chips? Yes, we do. Okay, 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 okay. Um, let's go ahead and move down to the Ark. We're going to get all the computer chips. Half the potatoes. 
and a little bit of water off the arc. We got 15 water. Alright, y'all can go down to Haven. Let's go down to that. Let's get you. down here. Alright, so we need to get all of that off, all of that off, all of that off. And we need a storage depot stat. Okay, so we've got a basic colony here. And I think with that, oh, I found a geology point. Nice find samples of these will give us the required insights we need for quality research. Research, I mean. Exploring the Trappist Point system by surveying planets, building colonies, and collecting samples will provide research point. Research projects in a research center require research points complete. All right, so with that, I'm gonna wrap up here if you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you want to go check out Trappist 1 for yourself, you can do that now on Steam for $14.99 USD. Thanks again to the developer for providing me a code to check this out. And with that, that's going to do it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.